What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Linears for Life Cacus and today Holy crap, we are going to be going over an unbelievably powerful weapon added to Destiny 2 during Season of the Haunted with the new Duality Dungeon. Guys, this thing isn't just goaded. It's goaded with the sauce. And if you spend a bunch of time farming the previously incredible linears like me, uh... <laughs> apparently you didn't need to because, yeah, this thing is just nuts, but... Before we talk about it, let's talk about what we're going to be comparing it against and the current top dogs when it comes to the PvE Linear Fusion meta. Right now, Linear's coming out, well essentially ever since they came out of Season of the Lost and got buffs from that season, they have been doing very, very well and they are used in endgame content like if you're DPSing Rahulk and you're using a Linear Fusion, that's not out of place. Same with the Caretaker, same with a lot of other bosses out there. They absolutely are seeing play in the upper echelon of endgame content. They're very, very good. And there's two main top dogs when it comes to Linears. Firstly, you have the Raid's Regret. Now, this has been in the game for a while and it's always been very good. Triple tap combined with either Vorpal Weapon or Firing Line, but recently, in fact last season, it now has access to the Viced Stinger Origin trait, which will automatically reload the weapon. So sometimes, if you get lucky, you literally can go an entire damage phase without ever needing to reload. A very powerful weapon. Then we have, just introduced last season, the Cataclysmic. Now originally, the god roll here was 4th times the charm, an extended magazine perk so it could get up to 6. That gives you 10 rounds in a single magazine, so already insane. And then you combine that with Focused Fury, where if you land a few headshots, you know, you get a 10 second timer where everything is 20% more damage, and that timer will reset when you get more precision shots. But... Actually, somewhat recently, the Cataclysmic God Roll changed because the Bait and Switch unique raid perk was buffed. If you deal damage with every weapon in your arsenal, now you're going to get a 35% damage increase, which is insane, and therefore the Cataclysmic with the Bait and Switch 4th times roll did outpace the Reed's Regret and was generally considered the best overall option for DPS with a Linear Fusion. Until this season. Like I said, the new Duality Dungeon has added some new weapons. One of those is the Storm Chaser Linear Fusion Rifle. This is Arc, so finally a decent Arc Linear. It's been a hot minute. And this is the first ever aggressive frame linear fusion. And that says it fires in a three round burst. And you've been seeing this in the background gameplay. So unlike other linears, when I pull the trigger and shoot this weapon, one round will turn into three shots. So it's not like a normal pulse rifle where one burst will actually take up three rounds of ammunition. No, 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 if I have, you know, five rounds in the magazine, essentially I'm shooting 15 times because again, one ammo equals a three round burst. Now, this does have some downsides that we're gonna talk about later in the video, but it also has some unexpected synergies. Mainly, the Storm Chaser can get rapid hit, and this works exactly like it does on a pulse rifle, where one burst of this weapon will instantly get rapid hit up to, you know, times three for a substantial reload speed increase. Then, it can also spawn with two different damage increasing perks. It can get Vorpal Weapon, which is only going to provide a 10% increase, but, I mean, it's active literally all the time, even when you're solo, against any sort of champion, boss, etc. Or it can get Firing Line, and that's going to give a 20% damage bonus for precision shots as long as you have two allies nearby. And then we have the Dungeon Origin trait Bitter Spite, which is going to increase reload based on how much damage you've taken beforehand. So, how does this thing compare to the two other god tier PvE linears we talked about earlier in the video? Well, firstly, we are going to test out my Vorpal roll of, again, rapid hit, 
Vorpal against the Cataclysmic with Bait and Switch. This is because both of these roles can be activated just by yourself and therefore are viable for solo play. And we lined up against Kali, our good raid boss testing dummy, and we stood in the middle with a well with Luna Faction boots so we could reload faster. And as you can see right here, with the help of a divinity so we weren't missing our headshots or anything, as you can see, wow, I just did pretty substantially more damage than the cataclysmic utter god roll that is generally considered to be the best for DPS. And the cataclysmic user was like, yep, I hit every single precision shot, so I got 10 rounds per meg every time, two super clean bait and switch activations, didn't matter, still outpaced him. And remember, outpaced him with the Vorpal roll. But, you know, it can't just be outright better. I mean, let's test out the other Storm Chaser role, this time with Firing Line, then we're testing it against the Reed's Regret because that also has Firing Line, again with Vice Stinger, and in that damage phase, same conditions, you know, well, plus Divinity, and of course there's three of us to activate Firing Line, guys. As you can see, not only am I hitting for, you know, pretty noticeably more damage for each shot, at the end of the day, <laughs> boom absolutely outpaced him by a huge margin because I'm getting that extra 10% from firing line and wow I mean there you have it there it is the storm chaser frankly with either vorpal or firing line will outpace literally the best previous linear fusion god rolls by a significant margin like we are not splitting hairs here this is you know in this last test it was over 200,000 more damage so, wow, Storm Chaser is now just clearly the best linear fusion for PvE in the entire game when it comes to damage output. So if you're using a linear against Rahulk, against Caretaker, you know, in Grandmasters, wherever you want to use it, you want to be using a Storm Chaser if you can get one. Not to mention that Warlocks just got a new exotic that buffs fusions and linear fusions. Did a video on an incredible build that this would slot in perfectly too, check that out. And there's some more quirks about the Storm Chaser as well. So, uh, firstly, you don't have to get Rapid Hit. Although it synergizes very well with the archetype of the Storm Chaser, you can actually get Auto Loading Holster, which is very, very good as well. And I really didn't get any with any sort of good uh, battery perks. Generally, you'd probably want something like Accelerated Coils or even Liquid Coils uh, to increase the damage or the charge time. But frankly, you really don't need them. But like I said earlier in the video, there are some downsides to using the Storm Chaser. So, firstly, it does bounce around with each burst. And so, when you're hitting a smaller target from a distance, or perhaps a moving target, it is definitely more inaccurate than a normal linear, which is going to go exactly where you aim it, and that one shot is all that matters. In addition to that, it does have some issue with ammo. I was noticing that when I picked up a Linear Fusion Finder Brick, I would get one single shot for this weapon, even when I had a Linear Fusion Scavenger. And then for a normal brick, I would get like four to five rounds. But I was talking to a teammate who didn't have a Scavenger, and they were getting four to five rounds. So, this has happened before throughout Destiny, where weapons that will shoot multiple shots for one, you know, technically going down one ammo can have some issues when it comes to uh, getting ammo via bricks. So I don't know if this is intentional to nerf the power of this weapon because it certainly, you know, is insane or this is a glitch that will be fixed later, but just keep this in mind. It's going to be great for a raid boss damage phase where you are rallying, you know, before it starts. However, for a Grandmaster where you have to get more ammo along the way, again, if you're only getting one single round from the bricks your teammate uh, with the Aeon Gauntlets are spawning, yeah, that might not be that good. So, that is the new Storm Chaser Linear Fusion, the new top dog when it comes to PvE DPS. Holy crap, this thing is just you know, pure power creep. It's just outright better than the other options. And it's not like you have to do a rigmarole like bait and switch to activate it. No, it just shoots 
incredibly high damage right out the gate. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.